I want to bring in Harun Zarifi, former translator who successfully escaped Afghanistan. Harun, can you give us an update? Where are you now and have you got other family members out? Thank you for having me, sir. Um, I'm in my house at the moment. I got out last week. I made it in America last week, but after going through all that mess and deadly moments, eventually I made it, but I'm here physically, but emotionally and mentally, I'm still in Afghanistan because I'm worried, scared, fair, and since my family is targeted. So can't be happy, but at least I took my f children out of there, but I left rest of my family in Afghanistan and I'm working on it. I'm trying to reach out to everyone to help me to get them out. Now, we have heard and it has been reported that the Taliban are hunting down people with ties to America. Do you know for a fact that that is happening? It is happening, sir. Uh, uh, I mean, they've been already starting going to people's houses and searching and whatever you see on the media, sometimes it's not true, but in reality, those people are deserve. I mean, they're suffering a lot of stuff. Like they cannot go out. Even right right now, if if everything gets normal, from like as we see, like the, the last moment, American Americans are withdrawing. So, at the last moments, they already start killing people and bombing, like suicide bombers. So like there's another problem is gonna start already. So the Taliban also going searching people. They're asking for their documents. They killed a lot of people already. So, I mean, I'm scared and whoever has been working with American before, they all, they are, they're all scared and they're really going through a lot of stuff. And, and I'm, I'm pretty sure after American evacuate 100%, there will be a big mess and they will go after everyone and kill it one by one. Haroon, thousands of Afghan refugees have already started to arrive in Wisconsin at an army base in Wisconsin. Um, the Washington Post reports that they've been given a fairly warm reception, along with some people worrying about their impact on the local culture, so to speak. What do you think will be the reaction of Americans to thousands of Afghanis coming to the United States? Will they be welcomed? I haven't seen anyone came here, but they will be welcome. The only problem, the only thing that I'm worrying about will create problem for uh, most of Afghans who are for real good people and good person and they need to be evacuated from Afghanistan. They are still in Afghanistan. Green card holders, uh, passport holders, they are still in Afghanistan and people, they've been working with Americans so many years, like my family, like they've been working for years, like over nine or 10 years and they are still in Afghanistan. But most people we have in America, unfortunately, they are all just like from the street and they go and they jump on the plane and, and, and they, they've been brought in, in America. So like those people probably among those thousands could be at hundreds or more than hundred people, they're bad. They probably have, uh, they've probably been trained or they've probably already been with the Taliban or ISIS. How we know? That will create a big problem for Afghans who are living in America. And if anything they have, they be, they're going to do in America bad or any, any actions. So it will cause and it will affect all Afghans. People of America will think they're all the same. But it will create a problem if they don't go through and check them one by one okay. before letting them. Haroon, we're glad you're here, glad you made it out, and we hope to see you with your family at some point in the future, too. Thank you so much. Come and see us again Hopefully soon, Haroon. Hopefully, I yep. think it my family. You got it. Thank we'll you. see you later. Thanks.